new day, new opportunity. It's a new chance to be fucking great. You got to educate yourself. Constantly educate yourself. Constantly try to grow. Constantly want to grow 1%. You're never going to reach the top. I'm never going to reach the top. But I'm going to keep climbing. And I'm going to keep climbing until I die. This plan that I have over here is a plan that I'm following every single day. We just keep going. The sky's the limit. And that's what I'm going to fucking aim for. I'm aiming as high as possible. As high as I possibly can. As high as possible, bro. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another day. New day, new opportunity. It's a new chance to be fucking great. I always say this little quote, but if you woke up today, be grateful. Stop being ungrateful. If you have time today to spend working on the things you love, spend it with the people you love, today's a good day. And you just got to make the best of it. That's what's just what it comes down to. Not every day you're going to wake up feeling the best. You're not going to wake up in the best mood. But your life is how you make of it. When life gives you lemons, what are you going to do? Are you going to make a lemonade? Are you going to get rid of the lemons? Are you just going to juice the lemons and not make lemonade? It's about what you do with what life gives you. So with that being said, we about to be active with VIP. We got about 10 minutes until our VIP session. We're going to go over everything from last week results. And we're going to go over everything from this week's expectations. So yeah, about to speed my way home safely during the speed limit. Safely with my seatbelt on. Safety is key. Safety is key. But like I said, I'm going to get home. We're going to start this day off right. And let's just do what we do every single day. New day, same shit. You sum me up like a dice. Yeah. No, you cannot hit my weed. This shit hit me punching like All right. I was just listening to some music. About to get this VIP call started. Just trying to get me, get some energy up. I'm tired as shit. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, we're going to get to work. Listening to a little... A little good groovy music, right? Quick, get me in the wake. I don't really I haven't listened to music in a couple days, but I think right now is a good. Get me nice and excited for the Sunday morning, especially because it's around the time people are at church. I gotta get, gotta get groovy and thank God for everything. And now it's time for me to give everything to the team. You know what I'm saying? But let's get these charts up. Let's get this VIP call up, and let's just actually get to work. Enough with the yapping, enough with the wait. Let's get straight to the charts. I'll probably give you a little clip as I always do, but if you want the full value, you want to be there for the full session, you got to join VIP. But I'll give you a little something. And we just going to get straight on into it. We got like 15 of us here. That's more than enough. Let's get straight to it. So the main thing we're going to be going over, if you were here for yesterday's call, yesterday we didn't really have like a trading call. It was based off of trading, but more or less the reality of trading the outside external factors when it comes to real life and not the charts. This morning we're going to have like a cool, I say give it 30, 45 minutes, but usually I don't know. Sometimes when people join and start talking, I'll just be here and be here for a while. But we're going to go over last week. I'm going to go over my expectations for next week. And just from there, I usually go on tangents and rants. So we just going to see where we get to. But if you got any questions, just let me know. You're looking at something that happened during Asian session. I'm looking at it for that reason to see what's going to happen now. Like I would be looking at the Asian session because it already happened. But when we're coming to the charts, when we're coming to learn, we're going to look and study what's happening at the times that we trade because that's what we got to figure out. 9.30 and 10 o'clock itself, they do the same shit all the time. All the time. And look, right we're here, we're about to explain one. So at 9.30 a.m., we had a fib short, the 62 to 88%. That was the first thing. 9.30, we just had a retracement. Now we're going to start stacking up all these reasons because I tell you guys all the time, you don't need to have a whole lot of reasons to get into a trade. All you need is two to three. You can have five, you could have six, but all you need is two to three. I'm just going to give you every single one that I see right here just because this is the only example we're going to use for the day because this trade, if you would have been able to catch this short, that's that's more than enough. More, more, more than a fuck enough. You would not need another trade. So at 9.30 a.m., which was one confirmation, is at the right time. We got a fib short, which was our second confirmation for a possible short. What else do we have? If you look to the right, one thing that I always tell you guys, the only thing we ever have is time and price. Look at what price we're at. 41500 And would you look at how, how right inside of there, all in this area that is. I'll make it another line just so, you, so I can show you how much all these confirmations will stack up. I'll make it. I'll make it green. Nah, green's not bright enough. I'll make it, damn, pink, blue, blue it is. So our third confirmation, 41,500. Now, why is 41,500 a confirmation? Because that's a big figure level. Why is low, why is, uh, fuck, lost my train of thought. I started reading the chat. 
Why is 41,500 a big figure level? Why is that important? Because look at this analogy. Whenever you go to a store, whenever you go anywhere, everything is priced a certain way. It's at whole numbers. When you go to like say a restaurant, say you have a $32 meal. When you give a tip, you'll probably give $8 to round it off to 40. We just like to round things off. We like to have whole numbers. When people are buying and selling in bulk, spending hundreds of thousands and trillions of dollars, they do the same thing. They tend to have orders around these levels. Now, it's never going to be perfect. You should never use a big figure level as itself as a reason to get into a trade. It's simply one of many reasons to have a reaction. Not to get a trade is one of many reasons price is going to have a reaction. A FIB isn't going to win you a trade. A FIB is going to show you where price is likely to have a reaction. 930 isn't going to give you a trade. 930 is going to give you the time that you're likely to have volume. You get what I'm saying? Like none of these things itself are going to make you money, but all of them together is just giving you a high probability chance on whether you should buy or sell. And then from there is risk management. But 41,500, fib short at 930. Okay, that's all cool. But now let me go to the daily time frame because this is where this confirmation is going to be important. The safest place will be as it runs to higher low. And in this case, if I would have had a 50 point stop loss getting in at that previous day's low, Let's just say maybe targeting the Asian session high for a one to three. But if I was just looking for a one to two, the one to two would have got hit at 3 a.m. This would have been a trade you would have been able to be done with by London session, which doesn't happen all the time. A lot of the time, those trades end up lasting into New York. But let's just say I did have patience and I just had a TP for the Asian session high. That's a one to 3.4. And by the time New York session came around, it went all the way up to about a one to seven but like i said when it came to the short it didn't really tap any area that i had like i was watching like it missed this one hour gap that was right here it didn't tap into that it looks like it tapped into 41 200 that's probably the only reason i see right now is that it tapped into 41,200, which is a big figure level so maybe you could have used that as a target but that would have been cutting it close for a one to seven but that's why I just go for my one to two, one to three. I can guarantee a one to two, one to three. And I can guarantee a one to two and one to three is more than enough. But this is a trade idea right here. Now I'll just write down what happened. This is a more simpler one. But it's like I told you guys, you don't need to have it complicated. The same reason I got into this trade would have been more than enough reason for me to get into the trade from over here. I didn't need to have all those confirmations. I just did them to show you guys. But sometimes you're just not going to have that many. Sometimes you literally only have one or two confirmations. But at this, the confirmation was uh, 3 a.m. So it was the time we were supposed to be trading. And we had a false break of the previous day's low. False break of the previous day's low. We could say that it was at 40800 But in my opinion, I wouldn't really like that. But honestly, this is like the really... Two to three confirmations. I'm telling you, sometimes you're not going to have as many as you want. There's probably more confirmations if I were to go to a higher enough time frame. If I were to go to a lower enough time frame, I could probably find more. But based off of the one hour time frame, the same time frame, we found all the confirmations for the other one. And we found like six. We only found two. But guess what? This trade equally is just as valuable because you would have made the same amount in the same amount of time, if not maybe faster. All right. We just got done the call. Great call. You guys go see some clips. It was just 100% charts. I was talking. I don't know how I'd be talking. It's still recording. I don't know how I'd be talking for so long. I was just going over how there's like 30 hours of recording sessions from VIP. I I don't know how I talked as much. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I don't lose my voice. But listen, we here. We here, though. We just going to make the most of what we got. And we're going to take advantage of what we can. Because at the end of the day, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But guess what? I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do it either. So I'm going to do it as long as I can for as much as I can and take as much advantage of it. Because you know why? That's what we do. Yeah, I'm uploading this call, put it inside the recording, the VIP recording, so everybody that wasn't here can watch it, because I know a lot of people go to church and stuff on Sunday morning, so some people don't be able to show up. We had about 30 people that were actually there. We're growing, expanding every day, and I love to see it giving value. So I'm about to go take these dogs for a walk, and then we're going to head to the gym and just get this workout, get the mental, mental mind right. Before we head to the gym, I had to head to Target. We about to head to the Target. I got to get a couple black tees. I like my dryer right now is cooked, so all my clothes are dirty and I haven't been able to wash them. So fuck it out. I'm not going to take that shit to a laundromat until I get the thing fixed. So I'm going to go buy new clothes. It's an efficient way to go about it. I ain't lying. Back at the crib, I got the clothes and everything. But honestly, it's getting around that time. I'm moving soon. So it's like, yeah, two weeks away, but it's already for like two, three days have already passed. So it was really like 14 days already. So 
Honestly, I'm gonna start slowly packing some of the stuff. I'm gonna mainly get majority of the stuff in this room all there, like first day. First day, I'm getting the whole setup, the whole office, everything. I'm gonna get this shit set up before I get my bed set up. No cap, I'm not lying about that either. That's why it's, it's kind of funny. I'm not joking. This is getting set up first. <laughs> but like I was just saying, I got clothes and stuff to wear for the next couple of days. I got like five, six different tank tops, shirts, underwears. I got like five different shirts from Ross just to give me some clothes to be able to wear for the next two weeks. And then I'm gonna go, then we're gonna take all these clothes to the dry cleaner if we can't get the washer and stuff, not the washer, get the dryer fixed by the time that we leave. Cause we have this apartment until next month, the 19th. So we still have this month for a month more after we have our next spot. So I'm not in a rush to get it fixed right now, if I'm being honest. But I'm gonna start slowly packing some of the clothes and stuff that I'm not gonna wear. Slowly start packing just shit in the closet. So it's just little stuff that I don't gotta deal with that's already ready to just go. And I'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna head to the gym. Different day, same shit, nobody here, just me. But we gonna get straight to it. I don't have nothing to really yap about right now. One of the main things that I would say is a struggle when it comes to content creating is always having a valuable topic to talk about because I don't wanna sit here and talk about bullshit. I only wanna give value. I only wanna speak about things that are gonna benefit you because at the end of the day, I know for a fact not everybody watching this right now is gonna finish the whole video. I know a lot of people didn't even make it to this part of the video. When it comes to making valuable content, it's one thing to give value, but you also gotta understand, me coming from a producer standpoint, you gotta make it so people actually watch your whole video. Let me know in the description, not description, let me know in the comments, how much, how many of you actually watched the full video? What, how long do you averagely watch my videos? It's just something that I wanna know because it's, it helps. At the end of the day, I can make a whole lot of videos. I can get a whole lot of views, but if 100,000 people watch the video and only 1,000 watch the whole thing, then the content isn't as good at the end of the day. And, you know, it's something that I want to focus on every single day, but the only way I get better is understanding what you guys want to see and all of that good stuff. But let's get this body flowing. Full body. Legs, shoulders, back, chest, all the above. Let's get to it. Listening to some content right now. A little podcast, audiobook, whatever you want to call it. It's a YouTube video at the end of the day. When I was just talking to VIP yesterday, I don't think I put this clip in the YouTube video, but I was basically telling them, you need to find mentors. You need to find people to study. How do you do that? You find people. When it comes to learning new information, it all comes down to people. You're learning stuff from me. I learn stuff from other people. Those other people learn it from other people. Everything comes down to people. How do you learn from people? YouTube books, audiobooks, meeting people, videos. You just gotta educate yourself at the end of the day. Reading blogs, it all comes down to people. People wrote this, people created this, people were speaking. You need to find people, whether that's me, whether that's other people, you gotta educate yourself, constantly educate yourself, constantly try to grow, constantly wanna grow 1%. You're never gonna reach the top. I'm never gonna reach the top, but I'm gonna keep climbing and I'm gonna keep climbing till I die. I promise you that I'm never going to reach a point to where I feel like I made it. Never. I'm about to get this crazy penthouse. That ain't shit. I don't care what I have. I'm never going to stop until I die. There is, no, there is no finish line. There is no goal. We just keep going. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Progressing, improving, and doing the most that we can. We just keep going. The sky's the limit, and that's what I'm going to fucking aim for. I'm aiming as high as possible. As high as I possibly can. As high as possible, bro. Let's keep this workout going. I just got my girlfriend from work, but we're about to go to Target, Ross, and probably Party City. Gonna, it's my uh, dog's birthday, Luna's little second birthday. Two-year-old, two-year-old dog. Time flies, time flies. But we're about to go to Ross, Target, Party City. See, so we'll get, I'll record on my phone if we if we find some shit. Huh? Yeah, see you, see you in the store. Let's see what they got in here. What they looking like? I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Got a little balloon for the dog. 
Wait. Oh, maybe they're wrong. <laughs> that one looks like it's big. It's a mini one of this one. And it's five dollars. Oh, it's five dollars. It's for you, girl. For you. It's yours, girl. Girl, it's your second birthday, girl. <laughs> so second birthday. I hit the cooler. Your second birthday. Sorry, Nova. Maybe next year for you. And team, this is where the video is gonna come to an end. I just got some Chipotle, went to, got to the stores and everything, saying a little happy birthday to my dog. And now, now it's time to end the day off, end the vlog off, continue editing these videos, and just overall, get ready to have an amazing week, productive week, an engaged week. We're gonna trade, I'm gonna give value, and I'm gonna post a video every single day, doing what I do to get me to this point. I wake up and do the same thing every single day. There's no secret to success, you just do the stuff that works repeatedly. This plan that I have over here, is a plan that I'm following every single day. And it's been working. I documented me creating the plan. I'm documenting me actively take action on the plan. And I promise you, I'm gonna show you the results that the plan brings. So if you wanna join VIP, the link is gonna be in the description. You can use the code to get half off. If you wanna learn how to trade, free trading course, free trading webinars, all completely free. It'll teach you everything you need to know about trading and everything you need to be able to make money online. Stay safe, stay productive, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.